All right, in this example, we're going to sketch the graph of the ellipse y squared over 4 plus x minus 5 squared equals 1. So what we'll do is basically we're going to find the center, and we're going to find some uh, the vertices and also the covertices, and we'll just make a rough sketch based on that. So we could write this as y minus 0 quantity squared. We can write 4 as 2 squared. Then we have x minus 5 squared. We could put that over 1, but again, we could even just write 1 as, well, 1 squared. And again, I'm just putting this, uh, you know, in, in the standard form of an ellipse. So the center of our ellipse is going to be positive 5, comma, 0. So we can now read that off from our standard form. And to get the vertices, well, I'm even going to go ahead and start making a, a rough little sketch based on this and point out some other things as well. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's going to be the center, the center of our ellipse. Now, to get the vertices, we can basically look at our A value and our B value. Again, A is greater than B. So in this case, our A value is going to equal positive 2. So the way I always, again, just kind of thought about things, so I'm going to go ahead and put 5, 0 there. Okay, the number that's being squared is 2. Again, that's our A value. And, you know, that's underneath the Y squared term, the term that involves Y squared. That tells me how many units we go up and down from our center. So I'm going to go up 1, 2 units, and then I'm going to go down 1, 2 units. And those will give us the vertices of our ellipse. So we've got 5, 2, and then our other point is going to be here at 5, negative 2. Well, likewise, if we look at our B value, our B value is going to equal positive 1. And that tells me how far I move left and right from where it's centered to get my covertices. So from the center, it says move left one unit, okay? And then it says move right one unit as well. So the covertices will be at 4, 0, and also at 6, 0. And now, again, I'm just going to make a rough little sketch of my ellipse. And not quite to scale, but not too terrible. So, all right, so again, <clears throat> that's what I like to do. I pick out the center. And then again, I look at my A value or my B value. And again, if it's underneath, uh, you know, I look at the, I look at the numerator. That kind of tells me again, hey, that's how many units I either go up or down. And again, for example, if you look underneath the term involving x, the B value is one. Well, x, I think about the x-axis. That's kind of to the left and to the right. So that helps me remember sort of what direction to go to get my other points.